I hope you're all having a great evening. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. We're looking here at this angle problem where we have to find this angle X. Find angle X using only triangle or circle properties. So what are we looking at when we have this specific representation here before us? We have this angle X. We have a circle. What we are given is that this line which is extending here from the x-axis because we have a circle that's tucked away against the y-axis and the x-axis right over here it's tangent to the x-axis here it's tangent to the y-axis here it's tangent that circle is tangent to that line and you remember that specific property where a line is tangent to a circle and then it's connected by means of a radius to the center you're always generating a right angle and this here is the center these lines emanating are radii and then you know you must have a right angle here, you must have a right angle. These tangent lines are perpendicular to the radius at these specific points of contact. So we have two 90 degree angles. But what about this part, using only triangle and circle properties, why is that the case? Because if supposedly you were to take out this little shape over here, it looks something like this right here. It looks kind of like a quadrilateral. You have 90 here, 90 here. You can easily determine X x here would be it would be 90 plus 90 plus theta plus x would equal 360 and then you could easily solve x to be 180 minus theta but we cannot use something simple like that we have to use triangle and circle properties only we're not going to rely here on quadrilateral properties so let's erase that the most logical step then to proceed given that we have a 90 degrees 90 degrees we have a theta angle and we have to determine x is to extend this right over here, extend it across. When you extend it across and you look at this entire large triangle, you pluck it out. I'm just drawing out here. I have a 90 which corresponds to that. I have a theta over here. Then I have this specific angle which corresponds right over here. What can this angle be? The sum of the three angles inside a triangle are 180. If one is 90 and the other one is theta, then that must be 90 minus theta because these two would be complementary to that. This angle right here must be 90 minus theta. Therefore, 90 minus theta represents this angle right here. Now, when I'm looking at this, I also know I have a 90 degrees in this direction. I have this small triangle develop. When I pluck out this small triangle, it looks something like this. You have a 90, then you have this angle which you just recently discovered to be 90 minus theta. We can determine that. If that's 90, that's 90 minus theta. You know what that is, it must be theta. 90 minus theta plus 90 plus theta will give you 180. So this right here is theta. And now we can easily determine x. The x angle over here is going to be determined by the supplementary angle properties. x plus theta are supplementary. They form a straight line. They equal 180. Therefore, x must be 180 minus theta, which is exactly what we saw using the quadrilateral properties. But here we were restricting ourselves to triangle and circular properties. And this right here is our answer. And if you were to do a good check, this little quadrilateral, if you add all these four angles, they'll equal 360. One angle is one, 180 minus theta, which we, which we have just discovered. You have a 90 right here. Then you have another 90. And then you have lastly this theta. If you add all of these, you'll get 360 because these will cancel out. You'll have 360 and our check shows that this angle X is right. What were the triangle and circle properties we used over here? Well, the circle properties were this specific fact right here that the tangent line to a circle at a point of contact with the radius to the center is always 90 degrees. So that's the circle properties. The triangle properties were where we looked at these larger and these smaller circles to find our way in the direction of that x so that's exactly everything right here before you the answer to this specific question is right over here x is equal to 180 minus theta and we don't have a concrete example here a concrete answer here our answer here is in terms of an expression which is fine because whatever theta is you can easily determine x from there if theta was equal to 60 degrees x here would be 120 degrees but that right there was this specific exercise and with that, I bid you all a good night. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.